Hello, my name is Hans George Campbell. Welcome to What the Fuck Wednesdays, where I show you the ugliest Matchbox vehicles ever produced. On today's episode, we're going to take a look at these 10 ugly Matchbox cars from the Tyco years. First up, we have this um, 57 Chevy, and it's number four. Take a closer look at this ugly Matchbox car from the Tyco years. The, uh, the hood part opens up. That's pretty cool. And I believe, let me check with my magnifying glass. Yeah, it looks like these are from 1995, 1996. Uh, yeah, anyway. There's that model, and there is the back of the packaging. I'll zoom a little bit more in case you want to try to, you know, read any of that. All right, next we have this ugly Bronco 2, Matchbox number 39, black with the orange fish. There's also the exact opposite. I think it's like orange with black fish or something like that. Anyway, I'll show that one too eventually. But there's that ugly Matchbox truck. Yeah, I actually don't like it when they do the chromed uh, bases and bumpers and things like that. I think they actually looked look better uh, with the dark gray plastic or, or medium gray plastic. But I know a lot of people, they love it when it's chrome like that. But, yeah. Anyway, there's that model. And there's the whole package like that. And there is the back um, of, you know, the back of the packaging. In case you want to look at that and try to read any of that. Next up, we have this ugly Grand Prix racer. Uh, Matchbox number 74. Yep, yeah, Matchbox number 74. And there is the back of the packaging, in case you want to try to, you know, read any of that. Next up, we got the Ford uh, Mondeo. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. It appears to be a new model. It's number 40. Uh, so this is the first release or first issue of this model. Let me get my pointer. Yeah, it appears to have some of my favorite wheels. I love these wheels here. They come in either chrome or chrome gold. You know, a gold chrome. And there are some of my favorite wheels on these Tyco era Matchbox cars. You know. But yeah. There's that one. The Ford Mondeo. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. And it's got the super fast logo right there in the upper left hand corner. And there's the back of the packaging. Uh, 
Alrighty. Um, next up, let me look at what we got next. Okay, so next up appears to be this Camaro Z28, and it is a new model, so this is the first release or the first issue um, of this car. The first issue of this car, first release of this ugly Matchbox car. <laughs> I showed you some of the ugliest Matchbox cars ever released came out during the Tyco years. And I told you I would all, you know, I would show them on this channel. So here's the first batch. Trust me, there's a whole lot more to show <laughs> in future videos. All right, next up. We've got this Firebird Racer with my favorite wheels from this time period, the gold chrome wheels. I just love those wheels, but that's number what, 48? You know, Matchbox car number 48. You know, I mean, I don't see a boy actually playing with this car. Maybe a girl, maybe, but not a boy. <laughs> And I don't see a collector collecting this car or any of these ugly cars I'm showing today, unless they just, you know, happen to love ugly looking Matchbox cars. <laughs> but I don't know what Mattel Toy Company was thinking when they made the, I mean, when they did these paint jobs. I don't know what they were thinking. Okay, next we have, we're still in the super fast. Uh, we got the Corvette T-Top, car number 58, well, Matchbox number 58, new color, uh, still has a super fast up there in the upper, what, left-hand corner? But just look at that ugly car. It even has a pink interior. I mean, oh my God, it does have my favorite wheels. I like that, but my God, could you see yourself driving an ugly car like that in real life? I mean, oh my God. I think a lot of these, well, some of these have plastic bases. I think some have metal bases, too, from this time period. I forgot to mention that. Hopefully you can tell what kind of bases they are from the video. You know, Usually I do mention if they have a metal base or a plastic base. I think this one's a plastic base. Yeah. Some of them are metal. Some of them are metal. Okay. So next up, we've got um, this, uh, I think they call it the Buster, this truck, this ugly truck right here. It's called the Buster. It's number 13 of uh, this type of a blister pack, and it's got the word super fast and blue right there. So it's a new look. Yeah, those wheels are kind of nice. I like those wheels, too. Those wheels are kind of nice. I like those. No tamp on the front and back on any of these models. Yeah. Uh, this one looks like a plastic base, metal body. And there's the back of the um, back of the packaging. All right. Up next. We got this, uh, it's a new model for 1997. It's Matchbox number 25 from this set. So if you can see, it's got the number up here. It's got super fast and blue here. It's a new model for 1997. So these are definitely from 1997 in this pack here. It's the BMW Z3 Roadster. And what an ugly paint scheme for the very first release of this car. You know, but yeah. <laughs> oh my God, what was Tycho thinking when he came out with cars like this? Jeez. Mm. 
And the last car in this 10 car lot is this um, Corvette uh, Stingray 3. Like I said before, I like those wheels. The wheels are actually kind of nice. But this one has plastic base, metal body. I normally don't like the Corvettes because these windshields right here are so easily broken. They're so easily broken. So normally I don't really, I don't personally collect the Corvettes. But when I do get them, I will show them. Because I think a lot of you actually do like the convertibles. So yeah, I'll show them on this channel. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more exciting content here on Desirable Matchbox. I have hundreds of videos in the works. So, if you like Matchbox vehicles as much as I do, if you like collecting them, uh, maybe you should think about subscribing to this channel. And by subscribing, that gives me the incentive to continue creating wonderful content for your viewing pleasure. Well, that's it. My name is Hans George Campbell. And until next time.